Corvette 2024 order guide gone. Made more of a mess than I thought I did. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You're rolling with Popo Jones. Thanks for joining me today. Before we get started, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. 2025 order guide, it's here. It dropped last night and here's what's new. We all kind of expected it. We've talked about it for the last few weeks, but there is a new change that we didn't know about, which we're gonna cover. First of all, let's jump into those deleted colors. We can confirm that those colors that we said were gonna go away did in fact go away. So ceramic matrix gray is now gone. Carbon flash metallic, hypersonic gray, silver flare metallic, cacti green, accelerate yellow, and amplify orange. Those have been eliminated. Now our new colors, we did get three. Well, technically we got one new color. Two of them are coming back. Sea ring orange, the competition yellow. But the exciting color that's brand new to the Corvette is that hysteria purple, which I'm looking forward to seeing. There's a few other things that are changing. And I noticed when I was going through the order guide late last night that habanero is on here. It doesn't show a separate line that it is a new item. But if you look very closely through the 153 pages that are there, you'll see in the interior colors it is listed. So we do have the habanero that is coming in. It's a, a kind of dark orange interior that we're going to see. We do have the new Z51 spoiler for the Stingrays. That's coming in. I'm really excited about that. Replace that old Z51 spoiler. Come in with something a little bit new. Similar to the high wing, just sits a little bit low. It's kind of in between the Z51 that's on the 2024s and the high wing that's on the 2024s. Um, in addition to that, there's a new stitching for the interior. It's that blue stitching. So if you get a black interior car and you want to go with blue stitching instead of white or red, you can get that, which I think that'll look good. With certain combinations, that'll be a pretty pretty nice thing to have and of course we do have that z06 wheel that we've all seen that that new uh, spider wheel that's coming out they have three different combinations for that as far as the colors go uh, they have the black color the polished forge aluminum and then of course that carbon flash painted pockets uh, not exactly sure how I feel about that wheel. It would be nice to see it in person and then I can decide for myself at that point, I guess, if I like that one or not. Now, the three things that we did not see at the Corvette Bash that are in the order guide that were just released are pretty cool. We've got everything in the engine bay for your coupes. It's an engine bay closeout graphics, something that we've seen aftermarket. You now have that directly from the factory. Again, it's an LPO, so it'll be dealer installed. We also have the engine specification plaque, which is another really cool thing that I, I think is uh, something that is, is worth adding on to there. Uh, another LPO, of course. And then lastly, we have the red strut bracket. We've seen those strut brackets all aftermarket being added on to the engine, to the, to the back on the coupe. Well, now you have it uh, from the manufacturer. It's not on the order guide that they're making any other significant changes to the interior of this car. We've uh, seen or we've heard about the interior changing up with the wall of buttons and that going away and getting a new screen and it looks like that's probably is going to push out into 2026 and not change in 2025. Now the interesting thing about that and I'm going to kind of go down a rabbit hole here on a theory of mine but we've heard a lot of rumors about a potential for a Grand Sport. Um, typically a ZR1 is usually the last year for a generation of Corvette. Uh, now if they are in indeed going to change the interior on the 2026. I don't see them changing that interior just to turn around the following year and produce a 2029. So if they are going to do that, I expect our C8 will last through several more years. And if it's going to last through several more years, we need several more cars, which in my opinion, does bring up a good argument for us seeing a Grand Sport in the future. Uh, we have the ZR1 and the rumored Zora. So we're looking at probably three more years of a C8 before we transition to a C9. That's kind of exciting news to me. It's not typical of Corvette to do that, but with the mid-engine car, it's not a typical car either. So it's exciting to see what's coming in the near future for that. Well, guys, that's it for our order guide. I hope you guys found that video uh, inform. Hope you find, see, I'm messing up again. Hope you found that information helpful. And again, please like and subscribe to the channel if you like that. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys on the next one.